Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a Bath & Body Works haul. So this haul is candles and a little bit of hair care. Um, sorry about the lighting, if it seems a little bit dark, it's because I'm filming later than I normally would and plus it's just like getting darker early. So um, my apologies for that, but it kind of is what it is. I just want to get this video out because I want to put these candles away. So um, like I said, it'll be candles and some hair care and let's jump right in and get started. So I'll start with the hair care. So I got it because I needed to use up a um, reward and being in Colorado, I can't use them in stores. So it's a whole freaking run around. Um, so I had to use it online in a couple of weeks. I am going to run out of conditioner completely. So I decided to pick up this gingham conditioner. I've said before on my channel that I really enjoy Bath and Body Works, uh, shampoo and conditioner. I know that it doesn't work for some people, but I do enjoy it for my own hair and I've enjoyed it for a really long time. So back in the day, and I'm talking, you know, maybe 10 to 15 years ago, Bath and Body Works had hair care in their signature scents, or at least in a number of them. So you can get like sweet pea, warm vanilla sugar, and coconut lime, verbena, and whatever. And then over the years, you have been able to get some at like hotels. So coconut lime, verbena, uh, I think maybe a little bit of rain kiss leaves. I don't remember. But anyway, they've done hair care for a while, but then they just stopped it for a while. So I'm glad to see it back. I didn't pick up the shampoo just because I'm pretty solid on shampoo, but I'm not solid on conditioner. So um, I love gingham. I think it's a great fragrance. I don't love it enough to buy like full size body care in it, but I figured a conditioner would be really lovely. So um, the keynotes are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. To me, it just kind of smells like a perfumey, uh, kind of like floral fruit. I definitely get the perfume floral first, but yeah, I mean, it's nice. So um, I think these are normally $16.50. Um, uh, oh, it, it says it was $0 because I used up a, um, you know, my reward for it. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it is normally $16.50. No, $14.50. Um, is that worth it? Maybe it just kind of depends, I guess. Like I would definitely try it if I were you, if you haven't tried Bath & Body Works hair care, but I think it's up to individuals to make that judgment. So anyway, um, got it for free. So yeah. Okay, so the rest is candles. I picked up a couple of candles when they were doing the buy two, get two free. And there was also free shipping on orders over, I don't know, maybe $75 or whatever. Um, so yeah, I decided to just pick some up and yeah, so I picked up some online exclusives. I've picked up, um, you know, some fall stuff that I just never got and a little bit of winter stuff because I needed to get to that dollar amount or whatever. Um, so I'll get into some fall stuff. So I picked up a banana walnut muffin. So this was an online exclusive for fall this year. Keynotes are sweet banana, golden nutmeg and cinnamon sugar muffin. I wanted to pick one up because I feel like I had one, like I've had a banana muffin scent before from Bath & Body Works, but I just kind of wanted it for this year. So I definitely get more of a cinnamon, nutmeggy type of bakery. I don't really get a whole lot of banana. I mean, maybe like in the background, but to me it just smells kind of like a cinnamon-esque baked item. So, um, Am I glad I only bought one? Yes, but I think that I will appreciate it for what it is and burn it sometime in the fall or in the winter. Okay, so the next one that I picked up was Sugar Cherry Crisp. I believe this was also an online exclusive. The keynotes are sweet cherries, graham cracker crumble, and crushed almonds. And I had the body care in this from last year. And in fact, I still have one more shower gel in this that I'll be using up in November. Um, and I guess I'd have to smell it again, but I feel like this is a little heavier on the cherry. So it's a little bit more, at least in my opinion, medicinal. Um, it's a little bit closer to um, Black Cherry Merlot, I think, than the Sugar Cherry Crisp Body Care, but it's not quite either, at least not in my opinion. So again, I should have pulled my Sugar Cherry Crisp uh, Shower Gel for a side by side, but anyway, I feel like this is kind of in between Black Cherry Merlot and the Body Care from last year. So I enjoy it. Again, I'm gonna burn this probably in um, you know fall or winter because I typically don't like to hang on to candles. I just have a bit of a backlog of them right now, but yeah, Sugar Cherry Crisp. 
Okay, I also picked up Wild Berry Jam Donut. The key notes are sweet wild berry jam, powdered donut, brown sugar crumble. So, I mean, I guess this was supposed to be their candle iteration of um, the raspberry jam donut scent that we had during spring transition almost a year ago. Can you believe it? Um, so, yeah, this is okay. I think that I'll keep it and burn it. But considering how kind of strong and in your face the raspberry jam donut body care is, this is pretty light. I can see myself putting this in my candle crock and just melting it for a while and just not burning because I just, it just seems so light on cold that I'm not sure that I would really get anything from it burning. So we'll see what happens with this. I will keep it, but it'll likely wind up in my crock. So stay tuned for my thoughts on this, but yeah, it is pretty light on cold. Uh, the last online exclusive, eh, well, kind of, that I picked up is Warm Vanilla Sugar. So it has been a minute since I've had a Warm Vanilla Sugar candle. I don't remember what year it was, maybe, actually I think it was 2015, that during the holidays, Bath & Body Works launched a kind of like small collection of signature collection uh, candles. So I'm pretty sure there was a warm vanilla sugar, there was a sweet pea, there was a beautiful day. And it was kind of like this glittery holiday packaging that was really enjoyable. So I don't know that I've had a warm vanilla sugar candle since then just because it is an online thing. So keynotes are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood with essential oils. So to me it just smells like the body care. So it's a very much so a body care vanilla. This is not a vanilla I would eat, but I just haven't had this in such a long time that I wanted to pick it up. It's pretty medium on cold, so I think that I will burn this one. Okay, and the last one that I purchased that said it was an online exclusive um, is this Frosted Cranberry. So it said online exclusive for this packaging. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway, I always get a Frosted Cranberry candle every single holiday season, so I wanted to just pick one up while I was shopping online anyway. So the key notes are ice cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka beans. So those notes are a little bit different than what Frosted Cranberry has been in years past, but it is the same fragrance. So it has this kind of wraparound decal sticker type packaging with white wax. And yeah, smells good, kind of a medium to strong on cold and it smells like frosted cranberry. So um, I think there's another packaging that will be in store, but this particular one for some reason was just online. So I think the packaging is fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, I love my frosted cranberry. And I've seen on the internet that, some, and by that I mean like Instagram, that some of these candles are starting to be 13.5 ounces. All these are saying 14.5, so I don't know what's up with that, but I have at least seen that on Instagram. So anyway, okay. Um, and I also picked up three other winter candles. I typically will wait until candle day to pick up any winter candles at all. But again, because I had to get to a dollar amount and I wasn't really interested in, in any other candles on the site, I decided to go ahead and pick up three winter candles that I know that I love that I would have picked up on candle day anyway. So my first one is my Precious Fresh Balsam. I love it. Key notes are woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. Love it. It's strong as always. Kind of an in-your-face, but really lovely balsam scent. So I think I'm good with just one for the year, just like a lot of these candles. And I feel like I'm going to um, just get one of each that I want this year just because I do have a big bit of a backlog with candles but yeah I'm good with my fresh balsam and I adore it so nice packaging um, I like that it has kind of this colored wax and it has a nice pretty metallic picture okay the other ones I guess all three of these last ones are from that uh, collection too so the other one that I got is this peppermint sugar cookie I got one last year too and I really loved it I do prefer the packaging from last year but this is fine too so again a kind of like a minty color of wax and then a pretty metallic uh, label keynotes are crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies Dare I say it, Ugh, but I like it more than Twisted Peppermint. Now keep in mind, I love Twisted Peppermint in a body care 
um, stuff. Like I love it in, you know, a soap and a shower gel and a lotion, whatever. But in terms of home fragrance, this is actually my um, my favorite. So between peppermint sugar cookie and twisted peppermint for home fragrance, peppermint sugar cookie, I think is where it's at. I think that the uh, twisted peppermint home fragrance smells more medicinal. It smells a little bit more like spa-like, I think, than the body care. And that's why I like this one better. So it's very possible that I'll still wind up, wind up purchasing a twisted peppermint candle from Candle Day, maybe. But mm, I love peppermint sugar cookie. So good. The last one that I purchased is Marshmallow Fireside, also a staple. So I love the gray wax, nice metallic label. The key notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roast, and vanilla, and crystallized amber. Those are the exact same key notes we've had for a while in the exact same scent. It's so lovely. Mm. And like I said, I feel like I just need one. You know, I don't feel like I need to go crazy, especially because I'm really not a winter person, but man, oh man, I love my marshmallow fireside. So it's not edible. This is not a marshmallow I would eat. There's a little bit of like a musk type of uh, scent to it that maybe comes across in the amber or in the woody bit. Um, but yeah, I really like marshmallow fireside. Um, so that is it for my candle purchase from the buy two, get two. And then I have my conditioner that I got for free. I really do not see myself purchasing any more candles until candle day because I typically always wait to purchase anything for winter, at least winter candles um, on that day. So I just wanna bring this to you now as kind of a end of fall, beginning of winter purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.